Let me get my knife to open. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am the Horror Sensei, and today we're got an unboxing for you guys. <clears throat> now, I'm a big fan of Funko um, as a company. I love the Funko Pops. I have about 150 of them right now, and I want to get more. I want to get more into the game <clears throat> of collecting Funko Pops. So, I've been hesitant for a long time. I've been thinking about it for a long time, but I finally pulled the trigger on a mystery box. I've never done a Funko Pop mystery box of any kind before. I've never done like a blind buy, anything like that, ever. So this is my very first one. I thought the opportunity was too awesome. The top hits were too awesome in this one. This is from Funko Chica. Um, I have, honestly I have no idea what to expect since I've never done one of these before. I do know that this was a Grail mystery box, meaning that she did not put in any commons in these mystery boxes. These are all um, exclusives, vaulted, signed, and extremely rare, you know, if you hit, get a top hit, and extremely valuable pops if you're lucky enough to get one of those top hits. So I honestly have no idea what to expect. I'm kind of just hoping I make my money back at this point. And if it's something I don't like, it's easy to sell. That would be fine with me. Okay. So the box, I believe, was $34.99. So $35. Um, I, I best before uh, shipping. I'm not going to include shipping on there. You know, that's kind of dumb to do that. So if I can make back $35, I'll, I will be happy. Obviously... You know me, I want it to be a horror pop more than anything. If it's not a horror pop, uh, Marvel or DC, <clears throat> obviously take the uh, top hit for me. I'm a huge Marvel, huge DC, huge comic book fan. And then it would be Star Wars after that. So I'm, you know, honestly, there's a lot of things it could be. And I could be really happy with it. Okay. So let me get my knife to open. <laughs> Let me see here. Let me slice this tape open. I like the uh, fragile handle with care. There, nicely done. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. I'm too. Guys, I am nervous, man. I'm freaking out right now. I'm nervous. Whew. Okay, so it's bubble wrapped. I feel a soft protector on there, so it comes in a nice soft case there. Bubble wrap, I still haven't looked at it. Haven't looked at it. What did I get there? Okay. I got Marilyn Monroe. Funko Hollywood Exclusive Limited Edition Marilyn Monroe. I honestly don't hate this. This is kind of awesome, guys. Like, I didn't even know they made Marilyn Monroe Pops. Um, it looks really cool. It's in great condition. I love that it came in the soft protector. Um, <clears throat> see. It was like 2019. Um, let's scan this. And see if we can get a value on it. Okay. Funko Hollywood Store exclusive. Looks like we're going 32 right now. It's the trending value on PPG. $32. Um, so that's not bad. That's pretty much right at that $35 price point I paid for it. So I'm honestly pretty happy with this one. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is <clears throat> going today. I am not positive if I will look to resell this or if I will hang on to it for a bit. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to hang on to it for a bit just to kind of see what happens with the price, see if it goes up or down some. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm all about movies and at least there was an actress in my realm, not a horror actress by any means, but at least there was the realm of movies and entertainment. So 
I'm happy with it. At least it wasn't an anime. If it was an anime, I would have sold it immediately. So there's that. Very cool. Again, that was from Funko Chica. Go ahead and check her out. She always is doing pretty cool mystery sales and mystery boxings for Funko Pops. Um, <clears throat> they're already here. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit that little bell. Get notified every time I post a video. You can follow me on Instagram at Horror Sensei. You can follow me on Letterboxd at Husker Sensei. And, of course, on Twitter at Haddonfield Sons. As always, until next time, be sure not to get French fried. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you.